y'all. It's about the fourth time making this video. I think I'm gonna get it right this time. Okay, so this is the old shallow well pump that I used to use on my sister's land to move water about eight years ago. It hasn't run in eight years. I got the motor unstuck. I don't know if it's gonna run though. But in the meantime, you know, we're using the, uh, you know, we got water, we got county water that we're gonna use to water the, the rows simply because uh, I don't have enough time to get this pond water up there, you know, five gallons at a time. So I gotta put ag lime down on the rows. I busted the uh, rows with the uh, potato buster, potato plow, but I'm gonna plant these today. Notice how they all got nice buds on there. Okay. Uh, But first I gotta drop the ag lime. Now, I gotta, I have an issue with this tiller. Uh, the control arms on this 801 aren't very long. So what happens is I got a very short PTO shaft. So if I go too deep, the shaft's gonna disengage. You have to custom cut the shaft, okay? To match your, uh, your tractor. But anyway, so I got the tiller set set on a flush mount. You know, it's level with the tires. That's about as low as it can go. So I can't dig deep. So what I had to do was go in here with a potato plow and uh, make the rows. And now what I'm doing is, remember, if you got clay, you have to lime your rows, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna be hard as a rock. Look, I can walk on this. See how, see how I'm walking on, on uh, I'm walking on this? It's hard as a rock, okay? So, I've got to run ag lime on top of the rows and then uh, till it in with the old 801. And this is the turnips and they're starting to do pretty good. Eventually we're gonna have to thin them out. But I'm gonna be planting potatoes in here. And I may only have time to do this, uh, you know, get, get about five rows done and get it all tilled up and get the, get the lines cut again. Uh, you know, weekend prepper, you know. Only do this once a day on the weekend and it's a long day. So, how you doing, baby? I'm showing, I'm doing a video, but, the onions are looking good. The beets, some of them came up and some of them didn't. Most did. You want to be in the video? Huh? Can I take your picture? Take your picture. I know it's going to be my hand. But, got to get the water. Got to get the potatoes planted today. Eventually lime this whole thing, but it's a lot of work. And uh, you know, this is a lot of work. A lot of people don't want to do this. You know, a lot of people watch these. Pr well, not everybody can get land, especially now. All these people from California, all people all over the country are coming to Texas now. So the land values have skyrocketed. It's pretty hard to get land now. I couldn't even afford this land again if I wanted it. So I'm gonna lime these two rows, or maybe four or five, and then run the tiller through here. That way I'll have two extra rows. I'm gonna, depending on how many potatoes I have, I might be able to do one or two rows. And then uh, over here, I'm gonna plant, uh, you know, those black eyed peas. I wanna put the black eyed peas in here and then maybe an okra in April. But, uh, yep, so I have to just do a couple rows, figure out this irrigation problem, how to get the water up here, and uh, you know, get the shallow well pump to work. I was gonna buy another one, but man, they went up to like three, $400 just for that same thing. I think I paid a little over a hundred bucks originally for that thing, so I'm like, I gotta try to fix it, you know? But that's the update. 
kind of nice. Pretty little view right there. Okay.